everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and for the past few weeks, a lot of you guys have been emailing me, messaging me, sending things on Instagram saying, hey, we've noticed all these massive new towers kind of popping up all over the city. What are these things? Can you explain them to us? Well, I'm gonna do that right now. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up, and a special thank you out to my Patreons on Patreon.com. It's because of them and their support, I get to do fun videos like this. Anyway, let's get started. For those who come down here on vacation, you will notice that when you take your phone out to go to use it, sometimes the connection is very poor, especially on Friday nights when everyone wants to go live and share the world of fireworks. Now, as we continue towards 5G and everyone's streaming their lives 24 seven, it creates a massive bottleneck for our towers off island. Well, to compensate for that, companies like AT&T and Verizon are installing these poles that are called nodes. Now, what nodes are, nodes are these little transmitters, you can zoom up to the top, these little transmitters that broadcast 5G. Now, these towers work a little bit different than the ones that you're used to on radio towers. Now, these nodes have to be within X of hundreds of yards of each other. Think of it as like a net. In order to cast a wider range of a broadcast area, they have to put many of these things. And here in North Wildwood, I believe we're seeing about 32 of these being installed. Now, these are built very different than the normal ones because on the island, whether you're here in Wildwood, North Wildwood, or heck, say if you're in New Jersey, there are different nodes you can build. The one behind us is actually a special one because you could put many different networks on one pole. Now, to give you an example, I drove around the city today to videotape these different kinds of nodes. Here's a picture of one that's on the boardwalk which can only take one carrier. versus one like this that has a light on it. Here you can see how big this open space is. This will actually have a cover on it and will include up to five different networks. So Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, or Sprint, whatever one you still have these days. Now, these poles are actually something that the city fought for. Now, fighting, this is what I mean. You see, in New Jersey and in the U.S., every utility company has a what's called right of way, which means if it's something for the public, they can literally just say, we're going to do it, and there's nothing anyone can do. Well, when it came to this project, Verizon and those guys said, we want to install these poles. Well, the city said, well, can we have special ones where you can put different networks on it? Because if they were to do individual poles, they could put as many as they want, which would mean that you would have potentially five different poles for five different carriers. So the city said, hey, I know we have no control where you're going to put these things, but can you make sure that the heavy duty ones that can handle multiple different carriers? Now you'll see these 5G towers on many different things. They can install them on top of existing poles. They can put them on buildings, water towers, or these new blue poles. And it's pretty cool because some of them have lights on them. A lot of ones have two lights on them. So keep an eye out. These are new things that are coming down here. They're not online yet. Hopefully by the end of August, they have to install them all. Build up the network. As you can see, there's not even a covering on them at the moment. But stay tuned because in a few months, you guys will never have reception problem on your phone ever again. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you on the beach. See you later. Bye.